right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today, starting off uppy closey because I want to build this Precisio RTA MTL style. Go, go away, oh, Notion. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to be using it on this uh, Notion 18350 from Stan Tenacious TX Vapes. Haven't even, haven't even opened this. That's how far behind I am in life. But what we're really going to be focusing on today is this little Precisio mouth to lung guy. This comes from a uh, BD Vape slash Fumitech, and they did that really beautiful, like, white squonker that I had last year that I did a review for. I didn't exactly love it, but it was very pretty, and so I kind of have high hopes for this. Hey, there it is. Fancy. Here it is. Slick little mouth to lung RTA. You got heat sink fins on the freaking drip tip, man. That's pro sauce. Here's your AFC down here, and there's a series of holes that it looks like you can close off, and then it kind of just opens up to a big slot, which I'm assuming is for like a more restricted lung. Yeah, that big slot is definitely for restricted lung, and then you have these for the mouth to lung. I'm just gonna start taking this apart, tearing it down. I feel like it's gonna be pretty simple and straightforward. Yeah, there's a deck. Looks very K-funny, just two screws that you kind of trap your leads with. Big spots to dump your wicks in there. There's where your juice is gonna kind of contact your wicks. Man, my fingernails are dirty. That is gross. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not gonna clean them. You're just gonna have to accept my apology. So let's continue taking this apart. You know, the tank kind of screws off. This all seems to be one piece. There's a very rounded chimney in there. It's a top fill and this unscrews to reveal two ginormous kidney-shaped juice fill holes. O-ring there, silicone here, nice and sealed up. There's that drip tip with the heat sink fins, baby. I know they're not real heat sink fins, it's just aesthetics. Before we get building on this, I just want to make sure it's going to fit and work on the notion. Uh... Yeah, mostly. It's a little bit uh, narrow for the Notion, honestly. Let's see if this other cap for the Notion works a little bit better. Oh, much better. Damn, that's a way better fit, dude. Just don't want it to cover up the airflow, which it looks like it might. You know what? We're going for restricted. We're going for mouth to lung, so I don't mind that that covers up the airflow a little bit. I think it might actually be beneficial. That looks like a dope little mouth to lung setup, so let's real quickly, let's build this thing. Found some old kidney puncher. Canthal, Grim Green branded 26 gauge Canthal. Kind of forgot that this even existed. Cotton bacon, of course. The tools! Shout out to Bearded Viking Customs for my dope stand. Well, that kind of looks like a winner to me. Easy to build, easy to wick. I did a two and a half millimeter, 24 gauge Canthal build in their cotton bacon. I'm not sure if, uh, no, I'm not sure if I used enough cotton. You know, you know, you never know. RTAs, like I always say, are a balancing act of, you know, your coil diameter, the amount of cotton you use, your juice viscosity. There's a lot that goes into it. So I'm hoping that this turns out okay. Shocking, I know. For the sake of a mouth to lung, I'm going to pre-knock down this airflow to about two holes. Only because I know I won't be able to adjust it once I get it on the Notion. Well, it has been built, it has been wicked, and it has been juiced. Real simple process from beginning to end. Real simple. Well, damn it, man. Let's get back out to normal view and vape the thing. Hmm. 
So it's vaping real, real nice. Sorry, I forgot to show you this. It does come with a bunch of spare crap. You get uh, cotton, there's some coils in there, there's extra screws, there's extra O-rings, there's the orange triple tool. So the build and the wicking I put in here seem to be working just damn flawlessly, flawlessly. I got this set right now. The airflow is on those two last little tiny little holes. And additionally, the airflow is being covered up just a little bit by the tip of this Notion mech mod. It's, it honestly works out to be a really great mouth to lung vape. It's very, very smooth. The resistance is, you know, it's good for me. Everybody likes their mouth to lung a little bit different. You know, some people want really, 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 really tight mouth to lung. Myself, I prefer a little bit looser. Let's open up this pit. I like it a little bit more open. And with those two holes right now, that's kind of where this is landing. Mm hmm. It honestly vapes a lot like a K-Fun. You kind of build it like a K-Fun. You kind of wick it like a K-Fun. Very, very K-Funny. But how's the flavor, you might ask? Sorry, it's the next day and I put it on the Vaporgate pug. No big deal. So the flavor. Ah. Uh... Here's the thing, the flavor is basically just okay. I'm making a lot of comparisons to the K-Fun in this video, but where this RTA kind of does fall short, especially from the K-Fun is in the flavor department. When I was taking it apart, I made a comment about the rounded chimney on the inside. As a general rule, rounded chimneys like that generally just don't give good flavor. I don't know what it is about the roundness or the vapor or something, can't explain it. No, there's no science involved here. I've just found they give less flavor. And the only reason I can pretty confidently say that is I put Prohibition Speakeasy, it's the root beer at six milligram. I've been vaping it for weeks and weeks and weeks. And in this RTA, it just tastes a little bit muted. Yeah. It's just, it's honestly just a little bit muted. I can still taste it. It still tastes like Speakeasy. It still tastes like root beer. This RTA, it's just, down, just a little bit down. This honestly might not be the tank if you're really serious, serious about flavor. Okay, bye. So I'm gonna adjust the airflow to that restricted lung. I really wanna try what a restricted lung feels like on this. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass for me because I put it on the Notion, so I have to pull this off of the device to adjust the airflow. Normally, normally you won't have to do that. Yeah, feels restricted, let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's, it's a real nice restricted lung hit. It's a very, very nice restricted lung. I kind of enjoy that this can go back and forth real easy between restricted lung and mouth to lung, and it does both actually well. Let's see if we can make that airflow just a little bit tighter. Come on, just a little bit tighter. Let's go down to one airflow hole. Oh, that's a little bit tighter. I think that's about as tight as you're gonna get this. Good, it's good. Uh, it's good. I will say the fit and finish on this, all the machining, all the fit and finish is really, truly beautiful. It all fits together so incredibly well. All the threads, really nice. There's no sticking, there's no grinding, there's no crunchiness at all. Vape budget hands, no, not really. Clicking around the internet, you can kind of find it between like 40 to 50 bucks. I think it personally looks super dope on this little notion. Wish it was a little bit more matchy matchy, you know, but what are you gonna do? All right, so let's wrap this up. So let's go back to the old school uh, FDA aliens game. If the FDA came or aliens came down and took all of my vape gear and I had nothing left to vape, is the Precisio RTA something I would seek out and buy right away? Here's the thing. <laughs> yes, this is a great RTA. And truly and honestly, I've just been vaping a lot more like low wattage, round wire, mouth to lung stuff. This Precisio, I hope I'm saying it right, probably not, very highly recommend it. And you know what? This little Notion stand, it ain't so bad. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description as per usual, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you. And remember, no matter what any crooked politician tells you or what any soccer mom tells you, definitely, absolutely, let's keep on vaping.